Welcome back everybody to Forza Horizon 5 and today we're doing another seasonal championship. This one is called Calm Before the Storm and yeah we're in Extreme cla uh, Track Toys in S2 class. So uh, yeah, pretty much uh, as fast as you're going to go in these kind of cars so uh, let's see what we're going to be driving and what we're going to be racing on. Again I do apologise for my voice. Really, I'm still suffering with a cold. You have arrived at your destination. But I don't want to do no videos for you. I want to do some stuff. So uh, yeah, right, we've got one in the city, and one near the highway. One that we're at. So yeah, we've got the extreme trap toy. So we've got the Apollo and Mo uh, Tenza Tensor Emozioni even, and uh, yeah, pretty powerful. Not much in the way of weight. The original kind of lightweight fast car, the Aerial Atom, the 500 V8 version, then the Aston Martin Vulcan, then the Ferrari F40 Competizione, the Sesto Elemento standard version, the Maserati MC12 version of Corsa, Rolls the MT900S, and the Ultimate Evolution Coupe 1020. I think we're going to go play it safe for a little bit for, for this first race, so we're going to go for the Mosler. Got plenty of power and torque for a 7 litre V8 engine. Doesn't weigh all that much, and uh, yeah, the handling and braking is pretty damn good for a, uh, 11, a 12 year old car now. Launch is fairly solid, um, and uh, yeah, the acceleration and speed are pretty decent as well. So let's see what it can do. Hopefully, it won't let us down. And obviously, we are uh, on normal roads. These are obviously track cars, but should still uh, be able to do, deal with the conditions. So obviously being street races, we still have to deal with AI traffic. Which, as per usual, can screw up your driving lines, mess up your braking zones, and catch you out on any blind corners. So you really have to be out on the lookout for them. As quick as the aerial atom is, it does have a very low top speed in comparison to these cars. Diablo GTR up front. Someone's crashed into an AI, I think. Yep. Oh, so did they. Yeah, the shear on there crashed into a traffic, AI traffic. A fair bit of understeer there. is not going to last on this straight. Nudging 200, are we going to get there? Yeah, there we are. Well, we're far from having the fastest top speed here. Sheer on them. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> Eels up, quite frankly. I feel like we have the better handling, even though obviously it's a more modern car with all wheel drive. Yeah, we held out at the end there. So yeah, that shear on, if that straight was any longer, it would have uh, gobbled us up and probably kept the lead. So uh, yeah, we got quite lucky there that the straight wasn't as uh, long as it could have been. So uh, yeah, that definitely helped us. But yeah, there we go, we've got the 20 points that we need to start off this uh, championship with. So let's move on to the second race and see if we can uh, replicate the success with that we had here. 
Right, so I figured for this one we'll go for something with a little bit more oomph, and uh, yeah. Weirdly enough, even though the Vulcan has more power, obviously more weight, but a lot more in the way of power, it's not as quick in terms of acceleration as a Moser there, which I wasn't expecting. does have better handling than braking though. Well, better braking, not quite better handling, uh, but yeah. Mm. Don't to buy the F40 just purely because of how good the handling is and the braking is pretty solid, but the launch is apparently awful. Did not expect that. Ooh, the Versione Corsa. Yeah, I don't think we've used that in a race before. A little bit older than the uh, Mosler there, but handling and braking is substantially better. The acceleration is better. I think the launch is better, but the top speed is slightly down, but I don't think that'll matter too much. A little bit heavier as well, but definitely looks like it's got more in the way of downforce, so... Uh, yeah, we'll go for that. I don't think we've used it before. Not a massive fan of the uh, standard Maserati MC12, to be honest. Does look like a, a redressed Enzo Ferrari in a lot of ways, but yeah, this definitely did step it up a little bit. Quite the same cubic capacity as the uh, Mosler, it's a thousand cc down, but it's got more cylinders, so twelve. Um, yeah, over two hundred horsepower extra as well, so uh, should definitely make a difference. Oh yeah, yeah, bad line there. Same line will break a little bit heavier. That's the forty I was deliberating about driving. This has going for it. And it a bit easier this time. I think the uh, fact that we had our handling and braking maximum is what sealed the deal on that one. And yeah, it definitely helped that there was a lot of fast sweeping corners as well. The F40 that I was deliberating about driving came in second and the Diablo GTR came in third. But yeah, that means we get 40 points, so uh, yeah, we're well on our way to winning this championship. But let's get onto the third and final race and see if that is the case. Right, so we've used two quite large cars, uh, obviously not you know, massive in terms of the weight that they have, but I figured let's go for something a little bit lighter. Well, not even necessarily lighter really, but just a little bit smaller and a little bit more nimble. I am tempted by the Evolution Coupe, uh, purely because the handling is pretty damn good. It has more than a thousand horsepower, it's lighter than either of the two cars that we chose before. But I feel like it's handling, you know, it's rolling rear-wheel drive, it's got more than a thousand horsepower, it'd be a little bit unpredictable. 
So I'm going to go for the Sesto Elemental, which as you can see, 10 on handling, 10 on acceleration, 10 on launch, and 10 on braking. And even the uh, speed is pretty decent as well. It's uh, 0.2 more than the uh, Maserati there. So uh, yeah, we're going to go for this. It's probably the predictable choice, but it's also one that is uh, as good as it is purely in for for real. Really, it's it's not you know an overhyped car or anything like that. It's a genuinely great car. It's also an easy to use great car as well, and a fast one at that. So uh, yeah. Let's see if all of that is going to come in handy. So we don't have all that much in the way of power. Obviously not much in the way of weight either, but... Yeah, we were uh, probably one of the slower cars in terms of... Well, lesser cars in terms of horsepower. Moza is the only one with less power than we have. Streets do benefit a smaller car, I feel. Oh, well, it would if I didn't have some understeer. It's one problem with this car, all wheel drives doesn't mean it's got some understeer on the go. They all piled up in one another for some reason. Miss the checkpoint, do not want to do that. Well, that was a little bit tricky for the first part or so, and then uh, that last 10 15 percent of the race, there, just the rest of the competition just seemed to have vanished. Might well have come a cropper against an AI car or something, or bunched up, but yeah, for whatever reason, we had nearly a four second lead over the 599XXE there, and uh, yeah, the Coins like CC GT was in third, and the Ferrari FXX dropped all the way back to eighth. I think that's the uh, red car that was ahead of me in the Maserati, but yeah, still fairly impressive, and uh, yeah, a win across the board, which is nice to see. So you got the 60 points. And uh, yeah, more crucially, adds points towards the current season and the uh, series overall to get you the exclusive cars that are available. So uh, yeah, but nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.